Hello guys, so in this video, I will give you five companies that you can apply to if you're looking for a job as a software developer. Before continuing with the video, if you're new to this channel, my name is Katlao, I'm a self-taught software developer and I share some tips and my experience of how I became a self-taught software developer in order to help you guys get motivated, get inspired and also make it easy for you guys to get into the field. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever I release new content and also don't forget to like the video guys. Alright, let's continue. So the very first company that I'll mention is BBD Software, so you probably heard of this company before or you probably came across the company as you're applying to jobs on linkedin or indeed.com like they usually have roles that they actually post over there on linkedin and indeed.com maybe once a month or maybe once every other month so they basically have a lot of opportunities there usually if you are coming from a college or a university it'll be a great idea to actually apply to this company because they have a graduate program so they literally groom you into becoming a software a developer right so i actually applied to this company multiple times the first time i applied to this company i actually went through two stages of the interview process so the first stage was actually completing an assessment so basically the assessment or the test that they gave me was to actually solve some challenges that are basically algorithms it's not anything related to front end or back end or anything like that they just want to see your problem solving skills so algorithms like fibonacci you're gonna find them there so they just basically want to see how you can and solve problems so they want to know if you know recursive functions and everything so yeah i actually passed the first step so the role that i actually applied to so this is important the role that i applied to at this company was a javascript developer so i think that's the main reason why they actually gave me an algorithm type of task so i had to solve those problems then i actually went to the second step where I actually interview with the people at the company so i actually got off at the second step of the interview process right then actually after interviewing with these people i actually found the company interesting so what i did was i actually connected with a few people on linkedin to actually get a referral basically so i connected with a few people and i think i got like two people who were willing to give me their details so that i can use them as i was applying to jobs at this company right so i applied again two times using these people's details so that i can apply using a referral basically right so that i can be ahead of other people right but i didn't make it to the second step which is to actually get in an interview with the people at their company right yeah i think it's a great company to apply to especially if you're just someone who's coming from university or from college because like i said they have a graduate program where they actually help you to become a software developer and they'll actually hire you at the end so i think it would be a great idea applying to this company even if you're not a graduate and you're a software developer like me i was able to apply to this company so apply to this company if you actually have the skills that they need for the roles that going to apply to at this company then the second company that i recommend you guys to apply to is called fresh projects so basically i applied to this company in 2022 i actually had a great experience in the first step of the interview process right so the person who was interviewing me in the first step of the interview process it was just a screening type of interview but i had a great experience because like she was asking me these questions right so i was answering those questions then at the end of answering those questions she actually gave gave me like a better way to answer questions just so that if I don't make it at this role I can be able to answer questions the right way in the future as I apply to more companies right so she was just helping me so that I can be equipped with this knowledge of how to answer questions in the interview process right so she actually gave me the right way to answer questions and she gave me like this big pdf where it has all the questions that are common in an interview and the answers or how you should actually answer those questions right be in the that interview was a great experience and was a great asset to me because it helped me moving forward and that's how i was able to actually get another job the name of the company that i applied to is called fresh projects but the actual person who was actually interviewing with me was coming from a recruitment company so i actually think i applied to that recruitment company the way advertising this role from this company called fresh projects but the recruitment company is called data tech recruit then yeah that was the first step i actually made it to the second step where 
actually was in an interview with the, the CTO of that company. Yeah, he was the CTO. So I had a great experience with that person. We had a great chat. So yeah, I actually made it to the third step, which was to complete an assessment. So actually the assessment was very good because it was tailored to the role itself. It was not like things like data structures and algorithms. It was tailored specifically for a front-end developer. The type of things that I did there was to actually find bugs in the code and actually create a new functionality from what they've already created, right? So they basically created this front end where we have a card. There are items in the card. You need to make sure that some of the text on the items on the card is aligned correctly and make sure that the total is correct of all the items added together and everything. So things like that. So those are some of the tasks that I needed to actually complete to make sure that this is working. So yeah, everything was working fine. I completed the assessment and I was actually satisfied with actually completing this assessment. I knew that I did my best. So I actually sent it out. Then I actually got a feedback, I think about four days or five days from the CTO of the company. Then he told me that I did a great job in actually solving this assessment. Everything was working the way it should, but the only problem was actually the way I wrote the code, right? So there were things that I could have done better. Like I could have written less code. There were a better ways to actually complete the test. So that's how I was unable to go to the first step. So yeah, it was a great experience. I learned a lot and that's one of the experiences that gave me like this knowledge about interview process and how to actually present myself in an interview, right? So yeah, that was a great experience. So the third company that I recommend you guys to apply to is called t -Tex. So I applied to this company in 2022, around April, but I didn't make it to the interview, although there was an interview set up for me, but I didn't make it to the interview because of school related issues. Then later on around October, I actually got in an interview, I applied again, then I got another interview, then I set up the interview and I got into an interview the first time. So it was also a great experience. So I think I met the co-founder of the company. So the first step of the interview process, I actually met the co-founder of the company. So I got to know a lot about the company. We had a great chat and he knew what my skills are and how I can help the company and everything. Then the second step was to actually complete an assessment, right? So I got into the second step with I had to complete an assessment. So the assessment was pretty much straightforward actually. So I just had to create like something similar to Facebook, but not necessarily everything that is on Facebook, right? They just wanted to see if you can be able to search for specific posts. You need to make sure that you display the posts once they are searched. So yeah, I think that was pretty much it. It was not like a lot of things. It was just something simple as that. So luckily I've already created Facebook front end before because I, I like cloning things. So I had already created the front end of Facebook. So I just cloned the code from my GitHub. And actually I was using React for that Facebook clone that I did. It was pretty much simple. I just included the backend, which was Node.js. So I completed the test with no problems then after like i think about 30 days that's when they told me that they actually moved forward with other candidates right i think the problem was i submitted the test after three days because i was working more on the back end side because the funnel was already working i had to work on the back end and actually make sure that it integrates well with the front end right that's why i actually took about a day or two days to complete that test although some other people didn't really focus more on the front end side of things they just completed something simple they just wanted to see the search to see that you can search for posts and the post can actually display so they just did exactly that but myself i did a lot of things that's why they actually chose other people instead of me because they completed the test much faster right then another company that i recommend you guys to apply to is called basalt this is another company that i applied to like multiple times because like they usually have a lot of roles there so i applied to this company a lot of times and i was able to actually get in an interview almost every time I apply, right? So that's why I actually included this because like they actually make sure that they look at your CV very well and see if you have the skills that can somehow like match the role that they are advertising, right? Then they can actually help you get the role, right? And if you don't have the skills that they need for that role, they'll actually see if there are other roles where your skills can match, right? So they can help you like get another role if you're not matching the role that you applied to, right? So that's another company that I recommend you guys to actually apply apply to. Then another company that I recommend you guys to apply to is called Daryl Software. I also applied to this company like a bunch of times. Like they have a lot of awesome roles that are related to what I do or the skills that I have. So if you are a software developer or someone wants to be a software developer with the skills like JavaScript, C Sharp, they have great roles there. So that's another
another company that I usually applied to during the times when I was looking for jobs. So I actually was able to get a few interviews there. I didn't get all the interviews because my personal likes applying to any type of role that I see that is closer to the skills that I have, right? Although it's above my experience, I'll still apply. So my personal just likes applying. I just want to get that opportunity. I don't want to limit myself. I apply even though I know that I don't necessarily qualify based on the requirements, right? So that's another company that gave me more confidence as I was actually applying to more jobs as I was looking for a job so that I can be able to gain some confidence and apply to more jobs. Then actually when I get those interviews, I have more confidence and I'll be able to have a better chance of getting that job. Yeah, that's another company that I recommend you guys to apply to. Those are the companies that I think you guys should look into applying to so you can get a better chance of getting the job you're looking for, right? So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you haven't done this yet, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I release new content and also don't forget to like the video guys. Alright, that's gonna do it guys. Thank you for watching the video. Have an awesome day. Bye.